Are you struggling to figure out how to tackle complicated projects with multiple steps? Well, in this video, I'll show you my foolproof method for using ChatGPT to break down and complete any project efficiently, even when you're starting from scratch. All right, let's begin with a little backstory. For a lot of my AI projects, especially ones that use AI image generation, I've been using stability.ai. Stability AI is the stable diffusion models. They have the brand new Stable Image Ultra, Stable Diffusion 3 and 3.5 Large, Stable Diffusion XL, and Stable Diffusion 1.6. To use their official API, it's actually pretty expensive. Let's break down some of these costs. So to use Stable Image Ultra, they're saying it's the image generator with the highest quality and detail. The price is 8 credits per image. Up here it says API usage is based on credits, and 1 credit is equal to 1 cents USD. Pretty easy math here, that means that one image with Stable Image Ultra costs 8 cents. If you have an app that's generating thousands of images per day, how does $80 per day sound? 80 times 31 days in a month? That is a lot of money on image generation. And the higher that number scales, the more money you're going to be paying. So I had to find an alternative. And after a bunch of research and discussion, I found out that you can actually host the stable diffusion models for yourself. You can host them either locally on your computer, if your computer is powerful enough, or you can host it on a clouded server and then theoretically generate an infinite number of images for free. Obviously, there's the cost of the server, but it's peanuts compared to the official API. I've never done this before, so I started with huggingface.co. I started reading the docs, but all of this was a bit too complicated. And whenever something is a little too complicated for me, I turn to ChatGPT. Now, with those who use ChatGPT to complete projects like this, I bet you've noticed the same thing that I've noticed. First off, ChatGPT is very verbose. You'll tell it to complete a task and it will go through each of the steps in each response. And the problem with this is if one of the steps is incorrect, let's say this call breaks with your current environment, you'll have to prompt it to go back, fix its step, and then continue moving forward. But you have to think with each prompt that you send into the conversation, it's also sending back all of the previous discussion, which makes the model forget what exactly you're trying to do. And also as the user, well, at least for me, I get lost pretty quickly. Messages that I wrote way at the beginning of the conversation is no longer being used to generate an output which means we keep completing the same steps over and over again, going in a loop. The second problem is with up-to-date information. Even though we can force ChatGPT to search the web now, often it relies on old information. Like if I searched how to install Stable Diffusion 3.5 Large on the cloud, it would give me URLs or model names that are no longer correct. I'd have to go manually to these websites confirm the file paths, confirm everything is legit, and then plug in place into ChatGPT steps. Using the new O1 model and O1 mini model doesn't help. They're still very verbose. And look, these models don't support search, which is why I came up with a new method that solves all of these issues and more and has allowed me to complete these very complicated projects in almost half the time as before. We are going to do it with custom GPTs. Okay, first, on a new custom GPT, let's go to the Configure tab, and we'll name this GPT our project that we're trying to complete. This is going to be a private custom GPT, so you're only going to need to name it what you will understand. I'll call it Run Stable Diffusion 3.5 Large on the Cloud. Now for the instructions. I like to open up a new tab of ChatGPT and write. 
Make me a system prompt for a custom GPT that is designed to complete a specific project for running the stable diffusion 3.5 large model on the cloud. I need the GPT to only do one step at a time. That step should be as small as possible, so no high level explanations, and that step should be confirmed completed before moving on to the next one. The point of this sentence is to eliminate long responses. Remember, the models are very verbose. We want to cut that stuff down. I can go each output should be as short as possible. Nothing more than two or three paragraphs of text. I will be uploading all of the documentations into the knowledge base. So force the model to search its knowledge base before each step. And this last sentence is to get the most updated information. And we want the model to be using this information when it creates each of its outputs. So it will never forget anything. It will never forget the task. It will always remember what we're doing. Now you could probably just use this prompt as it is in the custom GPT, but I like to refine it a bit more. That's why I input this into chat GPT. Let's see what it comes up with. And it came up with this system prompt. It has a step-by-step -step guide for the custom GPT. It has a few rules and then a stark reminder at the end, always search the knowledge base before responding. I'm gonna copy this, paste it into the custom GPT. Let's add some numbers here. I'm gonna add some stars around this reminder text. Okay, it's properly formatted. Let's close it. Next, we need to select our capabilities. I'm gonna remove canvas and Dolly, but enable code interpreter. You're gonna need this if you want it to search the knowledge base. Now we need to upload some files. For that, I'm gonna to go to Hugging Face. Let's search Stable Diffusion 3.5 Large. I'm gonna copy all of this text. Let's create a new Word document, paste it in. I'm gonna save it as a .txt file. Let's call it Hugging Face Model Card. I'll click Save. Next, I'm gonna to go to GitHub. Go to the README file. Let's copy this text, paste it into a new Word doc. Let's call it GitHub Stable Diffusion 3.5 Large Readme. Hit save. And I'll take a quick look at some of these other files, maybe an example workflow. We'll copy all of this text, paste it in. We'll go save as SD 3.5 Large Example Workflow JSON and hit save. Now in my custom GPT, let's upload the files. Okay, we have the three files, the GitHub README file, the Hugging Face model card, and an example workflow. So now this custom GPT has everything it needs to give me the appropriate steps. I'm gonna click Create, select only me, save the custom GPT, then click View the GPT, and now we can start our project. Now if I write, give me step one, I want to use a run pod instance and send that in we see it's searching my knowledge base, and this is the output. Step one, set up a RunPod instance. So it wants me to log in or sign up on RunPod, and then choose an instance. So in the marketplace, I need something with at least 24 gigs of VRAM. So either NVIDIA A100 or RTX 3090. And then we need a memory of at least 16 gigs of RAM. Then we launch the instance, and then it says, let me know once the instance is ready, and I'll guide you on the next step. Look how short this output is, look how clear the output is, and it's giving me the correct information that I need to complete this project successfully. I wish I did that on all of my previous projects. I would have saved so much time instead of going back and forth with the model, telling it all of my error messages that I'm encountering. It's sending me down deep rabbit holes with no end in sight. And all you had to do was create a custom GPT with an updated knowledge base. Now, if you actually want me to create a video on how to run the new Stable Diffusion 3.5 large model on the cloud, if you want me to show you the exact steps on how I did it myself and how I'm able to do it for 10 times less the cost of the official API, let me know in the comments below and I'll get working on that video. If you're looking for a comprehensive business suite of AI agents for your business or company, 
check out the web app I'm building called YourAIAgent.com. We have everything from auto blogging to blue sky bots to chat bots, email support agents, LinkedIn bots, Reddit bots, a new AI social listening tool, posting hourly news, Amazon bots, Twitter bots, Tumblr bots, and YouTube comment responders. If you're interested, I'll drop a link to this in the description below. If you want to learn how to build your own AI agents and turn it into a profitable web app, check out my online course, How to Build a Custom AI App. I'll leave a link to this in the description as well. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there later.